Stuart, on Tuesday it was announced that you would be taking up the position of managing director at Rangers Football Club. That must have been a very exciting and proud moment in your career. No, absolutely. It, uh, I mean, honoured to, to have been asked. Uh, I haven't been a Rangers fan for, for you know all my life, basically. Uh, to, to get the chance to, to get involved in the, the rebuilding of the club is you know is a huge honour and you know very 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 proud to, to have been asked to do it. You joined the club's finance department on a consultancy basis back in March. Was it an easy decision to accept the role of managing director? Yes, in short, you know it uh, it's obviously a big challenge and, and, and it's a big role and you, you ask yourself are you up to it? But I, I think I am. I think having come into the finance department and. Uh, Having learned a bit about the club and some of the challenges it faced, it, uh, you know, I realise there's, there's a, a really good team of people still working at the club. You know, you've been through a, an awful lot of uh, hard times, I suppose, and heartache over the last three or four years. So, it, it, you know, but they're, they're all very committed, to, and that, that, and and the you know the support of the board, I think, and knowing the plans the board have got for the club, uh, you know, made a decision that was, it was easy to make at the end of the day. What will be your remit within this, the new structure that was announced on Tuesday? Well, my remit is, is really to try and, and sort out the operational side of the club, you know, and, and, and try and grow the operational side of the club again. Uh, a lot of staff have been taken out of the business over the last three years, and, and myself in conjunction with Andrew Dixon, you know, as a team really, is, is to get that side of the business working again. We need to, to get back to being a normal business. Uh, you know, th there's been far too much uh, news about the business side of the club. And really, we need to. We're there to support the football side of the club. We're a football club, and that's what it should all be about. So, hopefully, it'll be done quietly in the background. You know, low-profile stuff and uh, and really the unsexy stuff. I can say that. But if we can get all of that working, that should become that should benefit the football side. We should begin to generate more revenue for the club. We should get more value out of the, the, the you know the contracts that we've got with our suppliers. But we want to rebuild relationships, you know, with our suppliers and and, uh, and you know and just really take the business forward. You're a chartered accountant, but you have a background in football, having sat on the board of the Scottish Premier League. You were also a director of Motherwell. How much will your past experiences help you at Rangers? Oh, it's already been very helpful. It, uh, at the end of the day, the, the basic business is the same. Uh, you know, the club's obviously range is much, much bigger, but the, uh, it's quite a simple business at the end of the day. Uh, you know, if, if you can get the football side working, everything comes from that. And as I say, we're all about supporting the football side of the business. Uh, but no, those past experiences will be invaluable in, in terms of, you know, being the MD at Rangers. Did you have any dealings with any of the board members now at Rangers in your pre previous positions? Yeah, I, I knew uh, Paul Murray from, from way back, uh, fr from uh, PwC days, uh, when Paul worked at 3i uh, a long time ago. And, and I've, I've known Andrew Dixon for a number of years through my involvement with the SPL and, and been on the board at Motherwell. A lot of rebuilding work is required both in terms of the football side of the club and the commercial side. Where do you start? From my perspective, uh, we'll start on the, the operational and the commercial side, and it's really trying to initially plug the gaps in the staffing that's required. Uh, there's a very, as I said, already a very committed staff team here, and it's a great team that's here, and that's that's where we're looking to start to get the structure in place that will help to support the football side, and from there it should become self-fulfilling, and hopefully everyone will begin to see the results of that before too long. How important will it be for you to work closely with the new management team of Mark, Mark Warburton and Davy Weir, as well as Andrew Dixon, who is the, the Director of Finance and Administration? Uh, it's absolutely vital. You know, we're a football club. They're the key guys in the club. Uh, everything we do has to be geared towards making their job easier, uh, allowing them to get the best team in the pitch, get the best value out of the team they've got in the pitch. And, and anything we can do to support them, we'll do it. Are the wheels currently in motion with regards to players coming in and how quickly can fans expect to see new faces? Yes, they are. Uh, Mark and, and Davey are, are, are working hard and, and, and Andrew are working hard in, in, in the background and trying, trying to bring new faces in. And uh, hopefully, you know, with a fair wind, we, we, can, we can see some new faces next week. With the new season starting at the end of July, are you concerned at the lack of time you have to make the changes you would hope to implement? I, we've got what we've got. You know, we, we just need to get the sleeves rolled up and, and make the best of the time we've got and, and really get stuck into it and, and, and try and move it forward as quickly as we can. But, so the time frames are, are fine. The past several years have been extremely difficult for everyone associated with Rangers, including fans and staff. From what you've seen so far, are you confident the club is now moving in the right direction? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I think there's, uh, you know, the, the, the board took over on the 6th of March. There's been a massive amount of work done in the background, which a lot of fans and, and, and you know, and friends of the club aren't aware of. 
and I think we're beginning to see the fruition of that now with the, the appointment of the management team, the football management team, the appointment of the, the operational board structure and I think there's a lot more to come hopefully before too long. Just how much of a blow was it when Rangers failed to gain promotion to the Premiership in terms of the budgets you'll be working with this summer? It, it makes a slight impact, but I think as Dave King's already said, you know, what it does is give us more time to, to make that transition back. Uh, you know, Dave said there's three transfer windows now to bring players in to build a team. It gives Mark and Davey more time to, to, to build a team that, that hopefully will be ready for the Premiership. You know, and uh, it's yeah, a slight impact, but it's not massive. You know, we just need to go on with the plans that we've got and, and really try and, and get the club fo moving forward as quickly as possible. Dave King recently said he will overspend now on the squad to try and bridge the gap with Celtic. Uh, will the same view be taken as the club looks to strengthen the, the commercial side of the business? I, I don't think we need to overspend. I think we need to recruit very carefully, make sure we similar ethos. I think make sure we get value for for the recruitment that we make. But uh, but no, I don't, I don't think we need to overspend. We, we just but we do need to invest in the, you know the, the staffing resources and the infrastructure of the club, and, and that's been well we, we, you know that's been well versed already. And, uh, you know, yeah, I'm confident we can do that you know, over a sensible period of time. What do you feel you'll be looking from from the, the players that uh, you'll be bringing in to strengthen the, the Rangers squad this season? I, I think we'll be looking for, for value from, from the players that we get. Uh, you know, and players that will, will add to the, to, the, to the squad that's there. Players that will not only be suitable for the Championship, but, but will grow into the Premiership and, and be suitable for the Premiership. But I think most of all, players who want to come and play for Rangers and, and have a pride in playing for Rangers. It's important about the pride back throughout the club, even all throughout the club, but all departments of the club. That, that's key, I think, to taking things forward. Season tickets are, of course, one of the key revenue streams for any football club. Rangers fans can now renew theirs. How are sales going so far, and have you got a target figure in mind? Sales have started well. Uh, you know, the combination of uh, the, the Dave's launch last week and the, the renewals going out on Thursday, uh, sales have started po really positively. We the targets just as many as possible. Ideally, we'd sell them all out. Uh, you know, which will be a challenge given where we come from. But hopefully, the good news is coming. We we really need the backing of the fans to, to carry the club forward. Hopefully, the fans will see that the the club's going to turn around and that the board are beginning to deliver on a lot of their plans. And uh, I mean, I'm certainly very very optimistic about the future. I wouldn't be sitting here today if I didn't think the club was going to go to turn around and, and and go back to where it where it deserves to be. What do you feel will be the biggest challenges you will face initially as the managing director? I think the, the biggest challenges are, are really just getting those building blocks in place you know, and trying to do that as quickly as we can. Uh, as I say there's a great team here already, uh, the staff are terrific and, and I think with the support of everyone here we can, we can really get the club back on its feet again. We need, to get, we need to supplement the good people here with more good people uh, you know, and make sure we're getting value from that and as I say all of that is going towards supporting the football club. We are a football club. We need to, we, my job is to support the football side of the business and try and make Mark and Davies' job as, as easy as we can. Trust is a key word for Rangers supporters given all they have been through. How important do you feel it is to have people at the helm with the club's best interests at heart, including yourself, of course? Uh, it's absolutely vital. You know, I think especially after what's happened over the last three or four years, it, it, it has, you have to have people that you trust. John Gilligan made a good comment at the EGM about asking the shareholders to trust his board, trust the board. He's absolutely right. As I say, I wouldn't be here if I didn't trust the board. And, uh, you know, all I can ask the fans to do is please trust everyone that we're here to do the best for Rangers and do the best for their club.